Hi, here's a video response to the Chopra Well uh, number 12, the Holy Facts number 12, um, where you talk about the Ouija board. Well, I have uh, a story to share about the Ouija board, and it goes like this real to make a long story short. Basically, I had uh, one of my best friends, he was an atheist all his life, and uh, one day, this was in 19... Uh, 1997, if I recall correctly, 97, he calls me, actually it was just a regular conversation, he, you know, we talked, maybe I was married at the time, got married when I was 18 the first time, and uh, he just happened to call me to to say hi, and then he says, well, by the way, I, uh, I believe in God. Like, what? What do you mean? He's never believed in God. <clears throat> I've known him all my life. Never believed in God. He says, well, you know, it's something, you know, me and my girlfriend, my new girlfriend is Colombian, Colombian girlfriend at the time. Uh, he was born here in Florida, um, American, uh, and his girlfriend's from Colombia. And she introduced him to the Ouija board. And uh, she would put a, a robe on and candles and they, they'd start going at it. <laughs> that sounds bad, but yeah, they, they started uh, communicating with these spirits in the other world. And he explained to me that he'd been doing that for a bit, and he's come to the conclusion uh, through question and answer sessions he's had with uh, supposedly his his um, guarding angel spirit uh, that God does exist. So at the time, I was I was even thinking about becoming a pastor. I was pretty religious. I was the leader of the uh, musical department at the church, and uh, I helped out with the youth at the time. And um, I asked my wife, listen, you know, Chris is a believer. Just, can I check this out? So I quickly went over. Um, about 10.30 at night, I went over, uh, and what happened was unbelievable. Okay, brought it outside for the uh, continuation here. So, uh, to try to make this long story short, <laughs> the um, got there that night, and, uh, you know, candles, his girlfriend's dressed in some purple robe, I thought, oh my God, this is crazy. And you know, my, my belief at the time taught me that I should never uh, delve into those things. But my curiosity and this thrill, I mean, it's just like, uh, it's like a roller coaster ride. You know, it's just a thrill that you just, scares the crap out of you, but you love the thrill. And I was hooked instantly when he told me, he mentioned the word Ouija board and he believed in God. So anyways, uh, we started, you know, we put our fingers on it. He started talking to his guardian angel. She was writing everything down. I, uh, you know, it was my turn. I started asking, uh, you know, religious questions. You know, who is God? Uh, who is Jesus? Um, what does it all mean? And I spent about two hours conversing and uh, <laughs> realized why now my buddy uh, believes in God. And the explanation was just... And blew me away. Blew me away uh, to a point that um, my life changed completely. Uh, religious say I was, I became possessed, and I've possessed, been possessed ever since. <laughs> um, but you know, I've, I've picked up several books on spiritualism. Uh, you know, the Book of Spirits is one of the first ones I've I picked up. Written back in 1864, I believe, by, in the 1800s, late, late to mid 1800s. Um, and uh, it's, it just all correlates. The truth comes together in such a beautiful way that, you know, God is a tremendous being beyond uh, any of our understanding. But if we look to the truths and actual science, the actual science that's in front of us can show us, um, you know, my whole life changed. But anyways, uh, uh, you know, with the Ouija board, in respect to the Ouija board, uh, there was a point where I said, you know what, I, I couldn't believe what was happening, that this thing was moving. I thought maybe my friend had his influence, his mental influence, and my influence as well may have been moving the plastic piece uh, across the board and so on and so forth. I, so he let go, and it was moving with just one finger on, on the, uh, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> but it was just one finger barely touching. I, and I stood sideways and I looked 
and it was barely touching. There's almost like an energy between my finger. You know, and this sounds crazy to the non-believers, to people that haven't experienced this, but, um, you know, I wish the Chopra Well would do uh, like an in-depth study of or anyone really out there who's got the means to do so. Just an in-depth study with uh, interviews and, and a study behind Ouija board and, and how Milton Bradley continues to put it out as a, as a board game. It's just crazy. It doesn't make sense to me. And I'd, I'd love to know the history. You know, I know a little bit about the Fox sisters and how this all came to be, but, you know, there's a whole other history behind it. And no one's really done any investigation or any scientific uh, testing or anything at all regarding the Ouija board. I find that so strange, don't you? Well, anyways, here's my video response to the Chopper Well number 12. I mean, the, uh, <laughs> the Chopper Well you know, show, Holy Facts number 12, which is great. Keep up the good work, guys. Love your channel. Love everything you do. Uh, phenomenal. Have a great day. Thanks.